George Lucas, creator of the Star Wars and Indiana Jones franchises, has backed the Walt Disney Company's chief executive officer, Bob Iger, amid the proxy battle waged by activist investors for seats on the company's board. Creating magic is not for amateurs, Mr. Lucas said in a statement, per CNBC, voicing his support for Disney's current directors. The filmmaker made headlines in 2012 when it was revealed that he had sold his entertainment company, Lucasfilm, to Disney for $4.06 billion, per variety. As part of the deal, Mr. Lucas acquired about 37.1 million Disney shares, making him one of the company's largest individual shareholders, according to the publication. When I sold Lucasfilm just over a decade ago, I was delighted to become a Disney shareholder because of my longtime admiration for its iconic brand and Bob Iger's leadership, he told CNBC. Mr. Iger became Disney's CEO in 2005 and was elected as chairman of the board seven years later, for Disney. In 2020, the exec stepped away from his role as CEO, serving as executive chairman until his retirement in December 2021. However, Mr. Iger rejoined the company the following year after the abrupt ousting of his hand-picked successor, Bob Chapek. When Bob recently returned to the company during a difficult time, I was relieved. No one knows Disney better, Mr. Lucas shared, I remain a significant shareholder because I have full faith and confidence in the power of Disney and Bob's track record of driving long-term value, he continued. I have voted all of my shares for Disney's 12 directors and urge other shareholders to do the same. Free and fund management wages proxy fight. One of the activist investor groups, the New York-based hedge fund Tree and Fund Management, which operates under the trade name Tree and Partners, controls $3.5 billion worth of Disney stock. In December, Trian announced its intention to nominate its co-founder, billionaire Nelson Peltz, and former Disney executive Jay Rusulo, who resigned in 2015 after working with the media giant in various roles for 30 years, at the company's 2024 annual meeting of shareholders, slated for April 3.